again everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another speed build video in the sims 4 happy saturday i hope you guys are having the most amazing day ever so far and thank you so much for joining me here today so today we are building in san my shuno and we are building something that i have i've attempted many times before but something that i've never posted publicly before we are building a penthouse now this penthouse is going to be consisting of three separate apartments so on the ground floor we have one apartment which you will be seeing in this speed build on the first floor we have another apartment and then on the top floor will be a smaller studio apartment so this is really exciting for me so this is part one of two videos the second video will be coming your way very very shortly <laughs> hopefully it shouldn't take me too long to finalize the interiors of the other apartments but what i, I mean this this video is going to be just over 20 minutes long had i included footage from the other apartments it would have been nearing on like 40 45 minutes which i think can be a little bit tough to digest all in one go so i thought you guys might appreciate just two separate videos for the same building so once the apartment blocks are complete i will of course be uploading this as always to the gallery and via sim file share as well so we are currently working on the exterior here working at sunset and this build looks beautiful at sunset it does but it actually looks better at around 10 a.m which is when i actually took the screenshots and the intro video as well so it was, it was really funny actually because as i was doing the video i always try and work out which lighting looks best for each build each build each lot has different levels of lighting where each lot looks best in certain lightings at certain times of day this one i thought looked best at sunset and i was pleasantly surprised when i realized that it actually looked you could see me there just toggling with it to see what what the best lighting was but the, the best lighting for me was at around like i said around 10 a.m and of course uh, during a heat wave i think a lot of builders use heat wave as the default well I don't want to speak for everybody but <laughs> it's like the default weather setting because i think it offers the best lighting anyway i've gone off on a ramble as i normally do and the exterior is really coming together already and i was using a reference image that i found on pinterest but i really kind of went off on my on my own and sort of started adding things that the reference image didn't really have so i used the overall sort of shape of the build and then i just like added various sort of different little detailings that I thought looked good and I'm really really happy with this build the interior the ground floor apartment it's hands down one of my favorite interiors that I've ever done so far <laughs> and I'm also really sorry too if I sound a little bit raspy it's because for some reason for the last few days I appear to have kind of lost my voice <clears throat> excuse me <laughs> I've kind of lost my voice. I started noticing it like Wednesday while I was at work, I was talking to a customer on the phone and I was like, oh, I think I'm losing my voice. So I sound a little bit raspy. So you will hear me just sort of clearing my thro throat, excuse me, every now and again, I'll try not to make it too annoying and I'll take breaks if I need to. And I have a drink with me as well. So I do apologize, but I thought I would mention it because I do feel like I sound a little bit raspy. <laughs> so you can see me here now, this, while I was doing the exterior of this build, this was before I had decided that I was gonna turn this into three separate apartments. Initially, I was thinking that it could just be like one big industrial loft. And when I was looking at the interior of this build, I was like, this is, this is big, like this is huge. And it didn't really give off the family friendly vibe that a lot of my larger family homes sort of give off. So for this one, I, I think I made the right choice making it three separate apartment blocks and i also think it'd be really nice for people who play with like roommate sims or people who play with more than two or three sims who aren't related so they're like friends so this is really ideal for that sort of thing because if you're playing with like roommate sims who are who, like i was saying are just friends and who want to live in the city and like to be close to one another so, so they can have parties and go out for drinks and just enjoy the nightlife then i think this lot would be perfect 
for a setup like that. And because I've never done a build that's catered towards roommates, I think this just ticks another box. I think it's I think it's a really nice idea. And if you've got any Sims in mind for this, then please let me know. Please drop a, drop me a comment down below. Send me a message on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, whatever you want to do. I I always say this, but I love when you guys message me and tell me that you are using one of my builds and you share the families with me. Like it warms my heart. <laughs> it really does. So yeah, I, th I think this build will be perfect for that sort of setup. <clears throat> Excuse me. I can feel it going really raspy. <laughs> I can feel it going really raspy again. I'm trying to work out if I prefer my voice this way, <laughs> but I'm, my, my gut's saying not. <laughs> <laughs> so if you see like random sort of or if you feel you hear random pauses in the voiceover I'm gonna try not to do it because I tend to lose my way a little bit but I'll also remember that I'll, I'll be sounding quite raspy <laughs> throughout the video I'm so sorry I really am but I wanted to get this video up today because I'd shared a uh, work in progress picture on my community tab actually so if you're not subscribed already then please consider subscribing because you'll get and turn notifications on because you will get notified when I post on my community tab and or when I post a video as well but I posted on there I posted on Twitter a work in progress shot of this particular build and you guys seem to be really excited about it and fun fact funny story <laughs> so I actually messaged my two very good friends Reese and April aka Reese Love on and Miss Serena and I said I'm not convinced I actually like this build and they were like um what <laughs> it's literally gorgeous so I stepped away I'd, I'd been looking at it for about an hour as I was building the exterior and I was like the longer I look at something I have talked about this before too the longer I look at something the more I'll, I'll pick at it and I'll start picking out bits that I don't like and I'll just I'll just grow to not like it so I stepped away for a while and then I woke up this morning to all these like likes and comments on the build and I was like oh, I have to get a video out today using this build. So I thought this would be a really nice opportunity for me to one, try something different and to get a video out to you today because although it's not available for download yet, I thought we could sit down and have a chat and hang out while the, while the video is going on. And I was just so excited to share it and I'm even more excited to get the second part done and to actually get the build up and ready for download because that's probably what you guys are here for, right? You're here for the downloads. <laughs> so this is the interior. This is the ground floor apartment. I, I've, I've outdone myself here. I'm sorry. I'm gonna say it. I don't say it often enough when I think I do something well But I've outdone myself. I'm gonna give myself a pat on the back <laughs> You will see what I mean hopefully in just a moment. I love doing industrial style builds and I say this every time I do them because I don't do them very often but when I do them I so enjoy doing them and It's I, I just really like it. Please ignore the stairs as well. Those do get removed in just a little while because again while I was doing this I was still thinking okay well it can just be like um you know like a huge loft like one big thing and then that, and then I just the more I thought about it like I said I'm like I can't do this it's just too much so the stairs do disappear so just ignore them for now let's pretend they're not there <laughs> this is the kitchen we're using base game counters in a new swatch I believe that came with an update quite a long time ago now but I don't use these counters enough or I don't feel like I get the opportunity to use these counters enough so it was nice for me to use these in this setting I feel like it, they are the obvious choice but I wanted it to be stereotypically industrial rustic in here so I think we pretty much nailed that with the bits and pieces that we decided to put together and forewarning now I did use a lot of plants from the blooming rooms kit as well because I'm gonna hold my hands up now that is one of my favorite kits that's ever been released I know kits are a little bit of a touchy subject for a lot of people but I, I enjoy them if they're well made and I know that I'm gonna use them the, the the blooming rooms kit is a prime example of that i use them in i use the items excuse me in every single one of my builds so therefore for me it's worth buying but not everyone's the same and that's the beauty with the sims you can kind of build your own sort of game because there's so many expansion packs game packs stuff packs kits you name it there's so much going on that you can kind of customize your own game i've gone off on a tangent again i really need to get that sorted while I've been talking, the kitchen's pretty much finished. I just add some clutter items to sort of finish off the build because it would not be a Rachel Ped build <laughs> if there wasn't clutter galore. And I was initially thinking that I wanted to keep it quite minimalistic. And then I'm thinking, I'm, I can't do that. I'm not capable of doing that. Come on, get real. <laughs> so 
we do what we normally do. We put a load of plants everywhere. We clutter it up. We make it home. We make a little lived in. And I'm, I, I can't even tell you how much fun I had making this ground floor apartment. And I'm even more excited that I've got more work to do on the rest of the build. And like I said, that will come in part two in a separate video. I'm thinking at the start of this coming week or maybe like midweek, I'm not gonna put too much pressure on myself, but it will definitely be the next video that I put up. I'm not gonna do this and then upload another video and then come back to this. It will definitely be the next video that I upload. So I'm hoping you guys don't mind me doing this build in this way. It's just that, as I was saying at the start, it would have been a long, long video had I included the next apartments it just it would have just been too much anyway here we are we're adding some like i said just detailing to the kitchen uh, a lot of items i also used from the industrial loft kit as well because i mean the proofs and the pudding kind of thing it, it, it's an industrial loft kit i would have been silly not to use some of these items in this build i didn't use every single item i definitely used obviously you can see that i've put some items to one side just on the left here which ends up being the living space and oh Look at that, that was just really good timing. So this is the like the living space here. And I'm trying, I was trying to figure out like a really good layout for this because again, I was thinking, well, I could always put, this could be like an informal lounge area and then I could move upstairs and do like a formal living room. Again, quickly changes as soon as I have like a light bulb moment and I'm like, hang on a minute, I could turn this into three apartments. <laughs> so it stays like this for a little bit and then I'll go back in and then we do some rejigging around of some of the items but I, I really like the flow of this place as well it's very open plan there is one bedroom and one bathroom in this particular unit I didn't know whether on the first floor to maybe include two bedrooms I'll see how I feel the top floor is definitely going to be a small studio apartment because it's definitely much smaller than these but if you've got like a single sim or a couple who want to live in like a smaller unit then the top floor would probably be perfect and there is access to each floor from the exterior of the penthouse as well which I think is really nice so they don't have to like walk through each other's apartments to get to their own house <laughs> so living area I, I really like this I struggled for a little while on what to put on this coffee table and I know you're thinking oh come on it's not even a big deal and it's not <laughs> I just feel like pointing it out because it's abundantly clear to me right now that I am struggling with which items I need to use the kitchen came so easily to me and I assumed that the living room would be exactly the same unfortunately that was not the case <laughs> and I struggled quite a lot with placement of items which items I wanted to put in my normal like suburban house style just wasn't cutting it and the items that I normally gravitate towards just didn't look right in this particular setting so I had to sort of like tweak my brain into right Rachel industrial <laughs> you've although I love the style I've got to tweak my brain into right you need to do industrial you're not doing suburban you're not doing like family friendly because my go-to is family friendly. <laughs> you know, I know a lot of you play with families, but I also have to appreciate that some people play with single sims or two sims, or they play with like roommates, like we were talking about earlier. So I'm trying to do as many builds as possible to cover all bases so that you guys can hopefully pick out something that will be suitable for you. Does that make sense? I do hope so. <laughs> I'm feeling really chatty today as well, and I've no idea why. I'm just feeling really chatty. Anyway, living room. I did, re like I said, I did some rejigging off camera because it took me so long to figure out what I wanted to put where, and I was being so indecisive. I thought, right, we're just going to cut all that out. You don't need to see me having a panic moment when I'm like, oh, I don't know what I'm going to put there. And then, <laughs> so this is the dining space. Once I realized that I can move the stairs, the thrill that overcame me, <laughs> the joy that overcame me, I was like, oh, this is so cool. But this dining room table from Cats and Dogs is perfect, perfect for an industrial rustic apartment. And it just, look at it, it, it belongs here. It just belongs, you know, look at it. It's perfect. <laughs> A lot of items from, I'm gonna say it, it sounds like I'm swearing, Journey to Batu. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I said it. I can't unsay it, but I said it. And I know a lot of people have realized that Journey to Batu items are, they do give off this rustic industrial look. So I did use a few of those items in this build as well. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I'll try not to do it too much. I know that again, it's a very taboo subject is Journey to Batu, but some of the build and buy items really are quite something. <laughs> again, kind of worth it for me. I'm very, very on the fence about that pack. I, I didn't necessarily agree. Anyway, doesn't matter. <laughs> 
some of the items are okay, is what I'm trying to say. So the dining room table is here. and um, we, we put in like this, this corner here. I, I, there's space full of items. That there's really not a lot going on in terms of your sims can't really do much. Although we do end up putting a desk with, I want to say like a stack of books on. I will have to, I only did this this morning. Like I should know this. So this is the desk. The chair, your sims can probably sit there, but they can't sit at the desk because it's not a desk. It's a hallway table. So we end up putting a stack of books here and then like a lamp and then I think a plant <laughs> because again, you know me, I, I have to clutter things. Like that's just something that I, I just have to do. <laughs> so I just thought it was a really nice use of the space. The Sims that live here probably, uh, I, don't, I don't really know what kind of Sims would live here, but the stairs are gone. I suppose that's something good. <laughs> and then I was trying to think, where I could put the dining room table and then I moved it back to where it was and then we put a bookshelf here because I thought it would be nice to have like a little reading nook in this apartment so the space is is really good it's a really good sized space and it's I would love to play in this lot and it's not very often that I say that about my own builds but I would really quite like to move in some sims into this penthouse so again I'd love to see what what you guys do with this but um I was debating whether or not to upload this version of the penthouse to the gallery so that then you guys can do something with the the other two units so i will do that if enough people want me to i'm quite happy to do that and then i will release like my finalized version of it as well i think that might be quite a nice idea just to see what you guys can sort of come up with kind of like a shell challenge but not a shell challenge because it's already kind of done <laughs> but just to see what you could do with the interior space but i, I will have a think on it uh, please do let me know if you want me to do that but at the moment i'm just going to be releasing the finalized product <laughs> within the next week <laughs> anyway this space is almost done and then we move on to the one and only bedroom in the apartment and it i used a lot of items again from the industrial loft kit we used the bed from that pack i just think it worked really well in this space and the bathroom in this unit as well is so big not overly big as in it wasn't i didn't find it overwhelming i find sometimes when bathrooms are huge i find it really overwhelming because i don't know what to fill the space with but this one it wasn't too bad it's larger than one of my normal bathrooms but not over the top if that makes sense this is the the, uh, the bedroom the one and only bedroom i was gonna say master bedroom but it's not it's the one and only bedroom and not much going on in here because it's not huge it's a, just a really nice size and it's really funny because the unit upstairs there's a window that looks down and like this room has a glass roof so in theory in theory i mean in real life potentially your neighbors as in the people in the upstairs apartment may be able to watch you sleep i think that's quite funny but in the sims it doesn't really matter so i was tempted to change it to like a non-glass roof and then i thought nah i think that's quite cheeky i think we'll keep <laughs> i think we'll keep that in <laughs> anyway as I've been rambling again, the, the bedroom's almost done. Look at us, we're pros here. <laughs> Just adding some detailing to the walls. It's the middle height wall, which I, I can cope with. I didn't want to do it like the small wall height because it just, it would have made the space feel so much smaller than it actually is. So medium wall height, I can just about cope with. <laughs> but this is the bathroom. Again, it, look at it, it's, it's just a really nice size. And I think I utilize the space quite well in here. I could have put a bath slightly more in the center, but that would have made me feel quite anxious. <laughs> so we decided to keep it here. But we are almost at the end of, the, of this part of the two part video. So I will start wrapping up here, but thank you very much for joining me here today. The house will be available to download in the very near future once I've finished the apartments above. Wow, I almost lost my word there. <laughs> once I've finished the apartments above, I will put it up for download. Again, I go back to, if you want me to upload the version as it is and you'd like to see what you can do with the other two units, please let me know and I will do that, no problem at all. But sorry, thank you again <laughs> for joining me here today. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time I post a video. Bye everyone.